if you understand the concept on how what the the platform can help with your business this will transform your business this is the mindset that changed my business and also a lot of other other companies that use our platform okay so that you also can leverage and uh, use the platform and use the concept so that you can uh, boost your business double your profits and make a difference to your customers okay every night i lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head a million dreams keeping me The world could be a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. So we're gonna talk about the future of customer engagement, but not just for the platform or the software, but how to run your business and be a better entrepreneur, and why we built this the system so that. Kita as a business owner, kita as the entrepreneur can do the things that only we can do. All right. So a little bit of intro about myself. I'm the founder and CEO. At yes, hello. I've built a few businesses, won some awards, but that's not the important thing. Important thing is today's agenda and what I'm gonna uh, teach you about the concepts, and then you can apply it in your business and do it faster with the tools and software. Okay. So we're gonna talk about how to grow fast. What to focus on in your business? How to double your sales and how to do it in your own business? I'll tell you a little bit of story first behind the scenes on how this happened. So when I first started, I used to run a unit trust company, me and my wife, right? So the uh, after two three years of doing it, we won some awards. Uh, I learned about business. It's great. I learned about sales. I learned about uh, building a team. But the challenge was I didn't know how to run a business, so I had to. Go and belajar from a coach. Belajar daripada coach ni macam mana nak run a business. And of course, this is the coach Jeevan Sahadevan. And because he coached me, we managed to you know travel, make some money, and uh, beli lah kereta paling besar. So on um, uh, this is January 11th, 2008, we got married, right? And I got a baby. So things were happening to me and me, my wife, and the company. So things were really, really good, right? Um. And all because of the systems that we use and what I learned. So I'm going to compress all the things that I learned to pass to you. But something happened. When the stock market crashed in 2008, from flying high, making a lot of money, I almost went bankrupt. I, I, I don't know. 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 You see the date, eh? 11 January 08. 11 January 08, when the market crash was the day I got married. 11 January 08 is my anniversary, right? Ambil, it took o- over a year. Over a year untuk recover. Baru dia naik balik sikit. But of course, that's the time where I spend all my money, habis savings, I kena bayar my building, bayar office, bayar rumah, bayar wedding, bayar kereta almost went bankrupt. And this was the start of my recovery. So imagine eh, kalau korang, dulu me, me my uh, family, my father was police officer, my mom home, uh, duduk kat rumah, and um, bila tengah buat berjaya masa tu, kita pergi hari raya lah, my parents selalu cakap, wah oh, inilah anak yang berjaya, inilah yang bagus, right? Um, bagi duit, semua dah okay. Tapi when, bila tough times, Nak pergi jumpa relatives pun malu. Nak pergi jumpa my parents pun malu. Right? The toughest times. So, I terpaksa me and my wife pergi um, find another way nak 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 make back. So, what we did was kita, kita pandai buat sale. Kita pandai um, uh, apa? Uh, build a team. So, we thought, okay, let's do a training provider company. So, kita fly to KK. But malu-malu pun duduk rumah my in-law punya house. And we started the training company. And masa tu lah, dia tak, dah tak ada staff. So, bila tak ada staff tu, it's just me, my wife and a, 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 a part-timer. Saya lah kena buat marketing, saya lah kena buat sale. Lepas tu, saya lah kena travel here and there, pergi tawar, pergi kudat, pergi sempurna, buat training. Sendiri. And it was very stressful. Masa tu, anak seorang, duduk kat rumah aja. Jadi, macam mana? Right? Yes, money was okay. Tapi, secara attitude-nya, saya, 
as an entrepreneur, I don't know whether you can feel the same. Tapi saya cakap, I have talked to a lot of entrepreneurs. Daripada being so very good, I became very aggressive. Very arrogant, obsessive, sensitive, cutthroat, hyperactive. Semua benda-benda yang positif dulu jadi negatif. Right? Sebab stress. Semua benda yang kena buat. And then, I think, why am I becoming this kind of person? This is very not good. I don't like this. And ramai-ramai entrepreneur yang I cakap, I, I, I've spoken to, all go through the same thing. Bila tengah high pressure. Right? So, I said, mana boleh macam ni? So, I had to go out and look for another coach and try to figure out how to do this. And I jumpa podcast and this is the coach that I, I bayar dia untuk coach I. He told me that untuk semua entrepreneur, kita ada all the positive attributes. Ni attributes yang tadi kan. We are very creative. We are very driven. Bila low pressure and noise, semua benda ni positif. Behavior kita pun positif. Tapi bila pressure is high and the noise is high, semua benda kita kena buat, Behavior ni jadi challenging behavior. Jadi negatif. Right? So he said, Khalif, secara normal, when you are low pressure and noise, you are very intense. Focus betul-betul, right? You are smart. You are very aware of what's going on. Relentless. Tak stop. Kita kena buat. Teruskan, teruskan, teruskan. Macam tu. And tell me if you are feeling the same, right? Felicia, Owen, Ira. You are the same. If you are an entrepreneur, you macam ni. You're confident, driven, curious. You are present in the moment. You're very bold. You're out there. You buat apa yang perlu buat. This is the personality of an entrepreneur, he said. Tetapi, the challenge is, bila pressure and noise tinggi, bila kita tengah, tengah semua benda kena buat, the intensity tu jadi agresif. Our intelligence ni jadi arrogant. Our focus becomes obsessive. Kita punya awareness to the things happening becomes oversensitive. Semua pun sikit-sikit dah kena. Right? Our relentless non-stop ni jadi cut throat. Semua pun kita buat je. Tak kisah siapa yang uh, uh, yang kita kena kena uh, push down. Right? Our relentless becomes hyperactive. Confident kita become conceited. Semua fikir kita je bagus. The driven becomes hyperactive. Curious become paranoid. Being present suddenly becomes antisocial. Bold becoming risky. Benda-benda yang bagus dulu becomes very bad. All because of high pressure and noise. Tell me if you feel the same. Right? Ada tak nampak in your life it's the same like this? And when I look at my wife, summer. When she becomes aggressive, arrogant, obsessive, I tell only because she's high pressure and noise. So, it is expected if you are an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur personality ni lain daripada yang lain. Right? And let me tell you what it looks like kalau you as an entrepreneur, what does it look like kalau you hidup macam ni? If you live your life dengan low pressure and noise, you are living in a transformational life. Sebab tu, you nampak ramai entrepreneur kat luar tu, bestnya, bagusnya, right? So, they live their life in the present moment. Tapi bila high pressure noise, dia jadi makin naik. So kalau sikit pressure, on alert, dia most likely live a productive and successful life. Okay, no problem. They consistently at risk of moving to preloaded based on environment and situation. Ha, ini kira boleh boleh maintain. Tapi bila dah preloaded, terlampau banyak pressure and noise, kita start to struggle. Fail to make progress. We are high alert, suspicious, agitated, right? And then, kita pun cognitive, our brain and our body decline. And bila dah extremely high, we are now attacking the present situation. We are going nowhere. After short term, you know, our physical, chemically, our brain decline. And we are very easy to get disease. Demam, sakit, right? And we are, at, bila kita full overwhelmed, Memang struggle sangat-sangat. And this, this is how if we live our life. What if we... How, how do we look to other people? Kalau orang-orang lain look at us. Eh? When we are low pressure and noise, how do people see us? As an entrepreneur, when we are living our in the present, low pressure and noise, kita naturally a magnetic leader. Orang suka kat kita. Right? 
we are transformational. People come into our business, our life, they feel so good. We can be persuasive and we are very intentional. This is very good when we are low pressure and noise. But people look at us, bila kita on high or on alert atau preloaded, we are aggressive, kita forceful, kita judgmental, provocative. And when we are full overwhelmed, that's it. We are a threat to ourselves and people around us. And immediately, we feel that we need to slow down. Right? This is high pressure and noise. And how do we affect the people around us? Anak-anak kita, husband kita, staff kita. When we are low pressure and noise, and we are present, we are calm, uplifting. Kita memang uh, transparent and full of momentum. But if not, we go, we can become frightening. Orang takut tengok kita. Right? And then, kita, orang, orang tak tahu what we're doing. Right? We feel, they, they feel threatened. And then, we, we increase pressure and noise dengan orang lain. So, the key here is, my coach cakap, to lower pressure and noise is the first part. And how to do it is, we need to ask better questions. Okay? So this is the question that started off why we have this software and why you should use this software. Even if you're not using, you need to do it in your life and your business. Okay, this is the questions. Number one is how do I stop pressure and noise? Okay. How to do it? I'll show you in detail later on. Okay. Second step is to see what is wrong with me and how to fix it. After that, how to get ahead? How do I get ahead? And a lot of entrepreneurs are stuck di sini. Stuck di how do I get ahead? Sebab pressure and noise terlalu banyak. Right? After you already know how to get ahead, you want to see how do I get further ahead and how does my team help me get further ahead? So soalan-soalan ni is a step by step. I'll tell you how this relates to today punya software and how you're using it. Because a lot of using the tools and software dekat luar sana, you cari solution is so that you can lower pressure and noise so, you, so that you can get ahead, so that your team can help you get ahead. Okay? So next question is that, how do I help my team to get ahead? Once you know how to get your team to get ahead, then you can figure out how do I, how does my team go further ahead how to get more tools more solution to be better at what they are doing and then next is how do we help others get ahead so how do we help our clients customer be better and finally how do we help everyone so kita sekarang ni trying to think how do we help everyone how do we help everyone tapi we have to go step by step we cannot help everyone if kalau kita tak tahu how to get our team to get ahead and if we don't know how to help our team get ahead, semua benda lain tak boleh buat. So before that, we need to know how your team can help you. And before that, you need to know how you can help yourself. And before that, you need to lower pressure and noise. Inilah kunci dia. This is the key for you to boom your business. Okay? And for me, it worked. Everything happened after that. Senang. Uh, all the results came in. Duit masuk. I can build software. Got enough time to do all these things. Dapat referral dan sebagainya. Okay? So today's agenda, what I'm trying to show you is the core, kunci dia, asas dia ialah, number one, you need to find a way to lower pressure and noise. And how to do that is melalui the tools. Because kalau you buat segalanya, memang, memang you akan always high pressure and noise and you will be stuck. Okay, so I'm going to tell you next is what to focus on. What to focus on to lower pressure noise. Okay, so challenge untuk a lot of SMEs is kita punya communication berterabo, kita punya follow up pun berterabo, and then daily operations tak excellent. And the, the reason for that is semua is everywhere. Okay, so as an entrepreneur, we have to think a lot about, uh, uh, about a lot of things. Jadi, what I want to do is show you what to focus on. What are the five things to focus on? Focus on lima benda ni so that your team pun boleh focus lima benda ni. Jadi, your head can focus on other things. Okay? Lead generation, which is marketing. Nurturing is to keep in contact. Conversion is sales. Delivery is 
uh, keeping your promise to your clients, retention, upsell and resell, ialah how to get them to buy more things from you and stay happy to be with you. Okay? And that's how this platform was built supaya benda-benda ni you can do easy. Lower your pressure and noise so your team and yourself can focus on the five core functions. Okay? All right. So the, this is Ika. When she came to us, her sale was a little bit lacking. So dear terlampau pressure because only one person is tengah menjawab semua, tengah follow up semua. And then dear she she had uh, hire other people, other team members. Tapi semua pun sama sebab there's no proper software tool untuk supaya dia boleh uh, pantau, supaya team member boleh tolong menolong, right? So with the software it becomes streamlined. Jadi senang kerja. Noise and pressure kurang. Sales team boleh close from anywhere. Dia boleh pantau. Customer service boleh buat service. Fast. Okay. So once we capture some communication on the platform, everything becomes simple. And when everything becomes simple, we can now take a look at how to contribute and be better as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. Number one is to lower pressure and noise. Number two is to increase your protection and support. Kita as entrepreneur ni, susah. Dah lah kita nak buat semua. Nak minta tolong orang, susah. So we have to have system dan proses supaya kita senang nak minta protection and support. Dan secara automatically kita dapat protection and support as the business owner and leader so that we can increase our strengths and abilities. So secara natural, if we lower pressure and noise, kita punya protection and support, kita ada system dan tools supaya kita dapat support, kita punya own strength and abilities akan increase. And this is when we can contribute the most, maximum. Okay, this is the equation. And how to do this, one step of it is, very clear, you need to have the right tools. And this is the point of it all. Benda-benda yang features dan sebagainya tu is just features. Tapi, as an overall, this is what we need to focus on. So after Ika used it, semua her lead generation increase. Nurturing better, conversion becomes better, delivery becomes better, retention, upsell, and resale becomes better. Right? And she won her award, Youth Female Entrepreneur, double her revenues dalam 2 bulan aja. Sebab kenapa? Her mind is free. She can be the best of herself. And you can also. And I believe it. Right? So, number one is lower pressure and noise. That is how to grow fast. Number two, what to focus on? Focus on the contribution equation. Low pressure and noise, get support so that you can increase your abilities so that you can get, give the most contribution. Okay? Now, let me revisit how to double your sales. Ingat tak when I mentioned to you the business chassis? There are only five things that kita boleh control. Contohnya, Kalau lah, uh, number one uh, is uh, lead generation, context, conversion is sale. If we increase everything by 10%, kita may turnover boleh increase 40%. Net profit increase 60%. If we increase everything by 50%, sini 50, sini 50, 50, 50, 50, your bottom line akan increase 7 kali ganda. This can only be done kalau you as a leader can focus on the right things and not pressure and not create pressure for everyone else in your business as well. You have to be free and easy and relaxed and be the best of yourself. And to be the best of yourself, you need to lower down your own pressure and your noise. Get support from your team and other people so that you can protect yourself. And that's when your abilities will increase and you can increase the most contribution. Okay? So five core functions is what you need to focus on and increase by 10-20% for each one of those is where you can now uh, double your sales. Alright? So that's what the platform is for sebenarnya. Itu yang sebenarnya. And how to do it is all the features. Okay? Alright. So for those who are here, how to implement in your business. I'm going to show you a game plan on how to do it. Please implement, take action. Okay, ramai dulu uh, sebelum ni tahun lepas, I bagi beratus-ratus free trial. Tapi sebab dia orang tak faham kenapa nak guna benda ni. Ni tool saja. 
But if you understand why, once they use, macam I tunjuk you, ramai yang double their revenues, double their money sale, cepat aja. Sebab as an entrepreneur, kita boleh free our mind. Okay? So, let me ask you this. In a perfect world, what would a perfect customer engagement solution look like for your small business? It needs to be affordable and easy to use, has advanced features that you could grow into, and is oriented and focused around your business core functions. So that lowers pressure noise so that you can double your revenue because that's what's important, right? Okay, so this is what you need to take a look at. If you want to create sales momentum, double your profits in the next 90 days. Okay, so this is what you need to focus on. Number one, terlampau banyak distractions. So you need to first lower pressure and noise so that your brain can focus on the five core functions so you can double sales. Okay, how to lower pressure and noise? Senang. Connect all your communication so that you create total visibility. You nampak segalanya what your business is doing. Semua uh, uh, communication, percakapan, berchatting with your team dengan customer, you boleh nampak. And that's where the tools ada bagi kat you. And then you want to create a daily game. Hari-hari main a game that you can win. What is the game? Make sure inbox zero. Make sure uh, reply cepat. Make sure that uh, diorang datang kerja, right? So all these things you boleh track dalam platform. So that's the first one. If you nampak semuanya, you gonna tools and you play a daily game, you are not distracted. Get them to do the job. Trying to get them to your team member to uh, um, uh, reply cepat, untuk uh, nak buat reporting. Ha, tak payah semua tu. Jadi you tak distracted, you focus. Okay, that's the first one. Number two, is to increase your leads and sales. Macam mana nak increase your leads and sales? Bila you dah tak ada pressure and noise, you can now focus on how to generate leads. So, because you've already connected to the platform, semua Facebook comment akan masuk kat situ. Semua WhatsApp akan masuk situ. Semua email akan masuk situ. And then you boleh automatically warm up dia orang. Once they are warm up already, senang you can sell inside chat. This will increase leads and sales. And you tak payah buat. Your team boleh buat. You boleh hire somebody else to do. And this is the power of it. Okay? That's the second step. Third step is, because kita lack of support, we want to get support. So we want to increase our protection, increase our support. How to do that? You want to recruit winners into your company. Dapatkan assistant. Dapatkan salespeople. Dapatkan support person. And... Winners ni, orang yang suka menang, winners are the great A punya staff, want to play with other winners. So, kalau you dah play a daily game, diorang nampak, ui, ada tools lah, diorang ni hari-hari diorang winning lah, semua boleh nampak lah, then they are motivated to come and join you. Whisper, whisper ni berbisik. How do we berbisik harian? So, inside the platform, kita ada whisper support. You boleh chatting sesama team member, supaya you boleh uh, reply cepat, supaya you boleh jawab cepat, supaya you boleh closing cepat. And this is where you leverage also automation. Ada chatbot, ada broadcasting, ada automasi, integration. This is the support. Support from tools and your team. 90 days saja. First 30 days, you lower pressure noise. Next 30 days, you increase your leads and then warm up and then sell. And then the next final 90 days, you automasikan, get your team to do it for you. This is the step-by-step -step yang kita buat untuk a lot of our customers. And you can do it also. Okay, semua our team uh, process dan step semua kita dah ada. Okay, alright. So, like I mentioned just now, first you want to lower pressure and your uh, noise. Second, increase your protection and support. This will increase your strength and abilities as an entrepreneur and business owner. And this will allow you to make better contributions to your uh, to your customers. Okay. So, yes, hello ni, we are not just a tool, uh, a software. We are a partner to make sure you run your business better. Okay? So that you can embrace operational excellence and unlock your business potential. If you are stuck, that means you have too much pressure and noise, you're doing everything. You cannot. You have to give it out. Delegate or automate. All right? So, this is what I promise hari ni. I promise how to grow fast is to lower your pressure and noise. Number two, what to focus on is to focus on the contribution equation. That means, yang ini, contribution equation. Lower pressure noise, increase protection, increase strength, and then you can contribute better. Okay? 
Number three, how to double your sales. Jangan nak fokus terlalu banyak benda. Five core functions. Lead generation, nurturing, conversion, delivery dan retention upsell resell. Focus on these five things and then increase by 10-20% each one and you can senang je double your sales like I mentioned just now. And how to do it in your business? I dah bagi you dah 90 days action plan. Right? You have to take action, you can implement and then apply into your business. Alright? So, so far, is it okay? I'm going to give you after this the access already. Thank you for being here. Now you understand why the platform is here. I have also prepared something for those. It's not for everybody, but for those yang rasa kalif, I perlukan lagi pertolongan supaya nak buat lagi cepat. Can I share with you what I prepared? Yes? Okay. So, for those who want some support, so I've allowed uh, uh, for you guys to scan a code so that you can have a session with me. This is for those yang nak implement supaya saya pegang tangan. Me and my team will help you implement semua ni dalam your business. Right? Because you're thinking, alamak, I tak cukup tangan lah. I don't know how to do lah. You can do it on your own. Tapi normal lah kalau buat sendiri. Kalau salah masuk corner lah. Salah masuk gaung lah, right there, kena keluar balik. It takes a little bit long time. Semua mistake-mistake, semua kita dah tahu dah. We've done it for four years. We've done it for over few hundred companies and business owners macam korang. So you can scan this QR code over here, take a screenshot and then have a 25-minute session with me and uh, it's an application to do a 90 days coaching with me. We'll hold your hand, implement that, we will double your sales in 90 days. Alright, thank you so much everyone for this. I appreciate you being here. I hope that was valuable. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next session, okay? Alright, thank you everyone. Bye.